for the last 30 years, in a place called Silicon Valley, the area below San Francisco running to San Jose in that part of California, between the bay and the ocean, uh, is a center, as many of you know, for the telecommunications and computer industries. Every year there, hundreds of engineers quit their jobs. They work with places like Cisco and IBM and Apple and all those kinds of big corporations. They quit. And here's what they say. I hate my job. I hate going there in my tie and my jacket and my formal outfit. I hate being told by some asshole uh, executive what I'm supposed to do. I'm not productive. I can't explore. I, I'm not, I hate my job. I go there because I get a lot of money, but I hate my job. These people, in large numbers, quit every year. And here's what they do. They walk away and they collect with a few of their friends, 20, 30, 40, their little laptops, and they go to somebody's garage, who has a garage, and they line up their laptops, and here's what they say. We're gonna come to work in whatever we feel like, Hawaiian shirts and Bermuda shorts. We're gonna come with our Frisbees and our toddler and our dog. We're gonna come in various states of, how shall I put this, highness. <laughs> and we're gonna have a wonderful time. And we're gonna enjoy what we do. And we're gonna love to come to work. And guess what? The statistics show they are more productive than the counterparts who stayed behind in the top-down hierarchical capitalist enterprises. And they say so themselves. We are more productive. We are freer here. You know what these people have done? They've, they've walked away from capitalism. They've walked away from a capitalist enterprise and they've created a non-capitalist enterprise, an enterprise run by the workers themselves. They have strict rules. We're all equal here. No boss, no underling. We work f three day, uh, four days a week. That's where I got the example I gave you earlier. And on the fifth day, we get together and make all the decisions. We love our jobs. Here's the irony. When I go and speak to them, and I have, they've asked me to come, and I explain all of this to them in the larger frame, and I end up looking across the podium and saying, you know, there is a person who kind of came up with this idea in a very interesting way a while back. You may be surprised to know who he is. Oh, who is he? Who is he? And I say, oh, mm, Karl Marx. <laughs> and they look at me with shock, and that's when I learned that most of these people who do this are Republicans. They are. And they think of what they're doing as showing entrepreneurial initiative. And I remember the first time I heard that saying, look, it's fine with me. You want to call it a purple banana? I don't care. But this is what you're doing. You're changing the economic system. Those are very successful companies. So don't, this is not a foreign phenomena. This is not something Americans don't take to. Conservative Americans take to it. And again, history helps us here.